This is Rock Leach with Social Fire. Bishop Lamar Whitehead, a.k.a. the Bling Bishop, has been convicted of fraud, attempted extortion, and lying to the FBI. Oh, you don't want to miss this video. Let's talk about now, it. Now, click that like button and that bell notification so you'll be notified every time we put out a new video while you prepare yourself for this video clip. And I'll come back with some commentary. Let's go. Now, I will have to admit that I didn't even know who Bishop Whitehead was until July 2022 uh, when he and his wife were robbed at gunpoint while they were doing a live stream service. And, you know, it was a trio of masked bandits stormed the service and ran off with the bishop's accordingly uh, $75,000 Rolex watch, uh, 75000 Cavalier watch and a 25000 ruby and diamond ring, according to the values that they said were taken and i just remember thinking to myself who wears that kind of uh, i think y'all know where i'm going with that who who puts that on uh for sunday service but i guess you know I, I i just don't uh but anyway uh so looking at this he was convicted he was convicted and uh, you know, everybody know him for notoriously being flashy, and uh, he was convicted Monday of fraud, uh, attempted extortion, and lying to the FBI. Uh, he conned an elderly woman out of her retired savings and used his ties with the mayor to try to extort Bronx business owners. Now, what happened here is that he, he did have a relationship with the mayor, but he was making it that relationship was a lot more than it actually was. Now, a Manhattan jury found him guilty, uh, who, you know, and even looking at this, he wore the designer suits to court. He wore the jewelry, the bowl eyewear, he wore, wore all of that to court, and he was guilty on all counts. <laughs> I don't know how that was helping his case when he was the only witness for his own defense. So I'm looking at this and it's just I, I think that this is terrible because the church itself, especially the black church, has been under under scrutiny uh, for financial account, uh, financial accountability. People generally look like they don't trust uh, the black church when it comes to financial accountability. It's something that we've dealt with. Uh, for years, you know, and it, and it's because of a few bad apples like Bishop Lamar Whitehead, you know, conning people, ninety thousand uh, dollars from an elderly lady who was that was her life savings. And she supposedly gave it to him because he had a relationship with her son and he was a man of God. Now, I, I, I hate that for her because I know that it sounds a little gullible, gullible. But what happens here is that her son had a relationship with him. Her son saw him him as a spiritual father because uh you know he had helped the son get a house as well now even within that that was a little weird or sketchy as well how that even happened but he gave her the money she, he was going to renovate a property and within a year uh be able to give her her money back or something to that degree but after the year it didn't happen and then when she called to want her money back uh he berated her talking about how busy he was and this is all according to articles that i'm uh, looking at here just with all the information he berated her and what she did was she did like anybody would do she filed a lawsuit now what he did was went and countersued this is just silly but uh this is i mean you know this kind of thing is what gives the black church when it comes to financial accountability a bad name bishop whitehead this guy right here controversy surrounding financial transparency accountability and misuse of funds by some black leaders and church leaders uh is what caused people to not trust uh financial um integrity trust rather giving to churches or trust that they are doing what they're supposed to be doing um with the money and this is why some churches do go a step further and create their own financial oversight of of their finances so that people can trust giving you know it's a bad thing at church when people don't trust giving or trust the leader that uh stands in charge rather of the finances. You know, many times the pastor has a level of 
of strength or influence to move the finances. But this Bishop Whitehead uh, was found guilty. Now, this is not a court of law. This is not rumor. This actually happened. Now, we all know he was known for wearing all these suits. Uh, he even showed up the first day of court with a uh, Fendi backpack on, you know, uh, expensive Fendi backpack on. He was wearing all the expensive suits. And man, here you are getting accused of robbing people and conning people and you looking like the definition, the absolute definition of what they're talking about because you are, sir, the definition. And so he's supposed to be sentenced. I believe it's in July of this year. He's going to be sentenced. And, you know, I hope this serves as an example to those who are not doing right. Uh, men of God out there who have no integrity. I hope this is a sign for you to know that, uh, you know, this won't work. This won't work. You need to get your act together and quit conning people, quit coming out to people. And so I want to know what you think about Bishop Lamar Whitehead. I want you to jump down in the comments and let me know what you think about this conviction. Is this something that needed to happen? How many years do you hope he get or not get? I want to know your thoughts. Get down in the comments. Let's go.